so volatile keyword in c and c plus plus so watch this video till the end so that you will know the full concept so the first thing why you should use volatile is when there is a chance that let's say you have this program okay and here you are using some address but this address let's say 0 cross 11 is not known to this i mean the initialization part of this address or the assignment or the change of this particular address is actually not known to this particular program so if this is your a.cpp and you have some address that some address can be changed by some program maybe some network program is actually changing this particular address 0 cross 11 and this is like this address is not in the scope of this particular program then this program would never know that when this particular address got changed so it can get changed every time without actually this program knowing that this is being changed so if this is the scenario and this scenario happens when we have interrupt service routines and we receive data on port so if this is your port so someone would initialize this to your port and would give the interrupt to your program that yeah some data have come to this particular port then you would try to access this in your program correct but you don't know that it really got changed someone told that it is changed and if you want to read then go ahead and read then there is a very big issue in reading this address now listen this very carefully if you are going to read this address and your compiler optimization was actually on in that case you will not be reading the actual value you are going to read the older value so let's say few changes were made like one two three and four so maybe you will be seeing this value or this value but not this value why because compiler optimization is on what this compiler optimization does is it tells to the compiler that generate code in such a way that you don't have to run behind the variables and get them from the actual places you do one thing do some optimization keep those variables updated value with some registers so let's say this was changed and somehow it got to know and it was holding this one inside this address sorry register because compiler optimization is on so now you changed or i mean you said okay read this port again this is your isp okay inter service routine sorry isr it is telling you go ahead and read that because it is changed now what is possible that you are going to read the older value because you think that this is the most updated value because you have turned on the compiler optimization and compiler optimization does all these things to actually speed up the process because you don't have to go to the actual memory location to fetch the data so it's like this you had this memory where some data was present you took that data modified that data i mean you took that here and you modified that data but you are not going to update this to one before it was zero now you're not going to update this one you are keeping that somewhere in the caching or some register saying that for this particular zero cross 11 or some address this is the updated data so when your cpu for this particular program will ask for zero cross 11 address data you will not go again here no you will not do that you will check first your cache and if it is present you will just directly return from there so so in this case also it is telling you that the value have updated but you will feel that i have the updated value so if you are declaring some variable a volatile variable then in that case this compiler optimization will not kick in it will always go ahead and fetch the value from where that address is so it will not store that updated value with itself it will keep on going and checking that particular address again and again i know that is costly process but that's what we want because see you had let's say five but as your compiler as i mean as this particular code doesn't know that zero cross 11 got modified from some other sources it is thinking that i have i have the value like the updated value for this it will 
think that this is the updated value, but this is wrong. So we have to declare variables volatile in order to get rid of this confusion. So to recap that quickly, we have a program. This program can access some address which it doesn't know or doesn't have any scope to know that this got changed, then we should use this address or variable as volatile. You can search how you should declare. Otherwise it's like this. So we have to write volatile V is small here in pointer P. So this P is now not going to get optimized ever. And if this is not declared volatile and if this thing is getting modified and you get the notification that this is modified, you can feel that, okay, I have the original value what it is having because I know according to my knowledge, nothing. I mean, no one have changed this variable because if someone would have changed it, I would have known that and all these things, I mean, all these confusion will happen just because your compiler optimization is on. So that's why in network cases, when you are actually reading some port, you are receiving some data, all those programs are written in such a way that they have declared those port where they receive the data as volatile. Then only they would actually go and get the updated value from the actual port. They won't rely on their last visit to that particular address. So I think this much is enough. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.